Hey guys, Blind, and we're back again, and, uh, I'm logging back into the server. Uh, here goes nothing. What are we doing today, Duke? We're doing Applied Energistics. This may be like a two or three parter. Yep, so guys, I hope you don't mind a little bit of a long haul, but, uh, you know, stuff happens. I'll but try to get... The thing. It is better for it to be a long two or three parter, because this mod adds so much... And it can get so complex if we try to rush him through it. Alright. I'll probably break this up into 20 or 30 minute chunks for y'all, just to make it a little more tolerable. Well, as I was discussing with you off, off camera, um, there is a, it might be better just to like put it in the segments of you know the getting started, yeah. the channels, and then yeah. spatial I.O. Do. Do, 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 you in? All right. Do. I'm in. I got some basic stuff for us set up already. It's ready to go. I got stuff okay. in crystal chest that we saw in the last episode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And pretty much to get started, you need to find these two ores in the world. Centurious Court and Charged Centurious Court. Certus. 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 I um, beg the charge Certus quartz you need is the is the rare one you actually need the most to find. The uh -huh. non charged one is very common. You can find it almost anywhere. Huh. Now, if we look in the first chest here, we're just gonna go I'm gonna kinda go starting from the the center, because this is the this is the first two, the charged Certus quartz and the Certus quartz. That is what you mine and you get from those. The pure, the no, pure no, no. shit. The middle top. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. I'm looking at them now. Now, combine a charged with a piece of nether quartz and redstone. You get the fluix crystals. Uh, charged. You, you combine one. Like here, let me. Uh, okay, I see it. It's the it's the middle left side, right? Take a charged with a nether quartz, and you get the fluix crystal. Okay. No, you get it with the charged redstone. Red. And the nether quartz. And I need a bucket of water. Basically, what you do is you come over here. Mm hmm. I make a quick pool of lava. Lava. Water. And, um, you just throw this stuff in here. You get two fluix per mix, but once they're near, you see it changing yeah it's so like uh and you could you just jump in and pick them up i can okay because it looked like there was like some sort of chemical reaction happening in there i was worried i was going to get you know static electricity so literally no, no, it's no. it's just the quartz yeah. that and the redstone that that's a lot it's a lot easier than i thought it would be yeah and that gets you your uh flux crystals now you can use your flux crystals if you come over here real quick okay to make the charger this will turn the regular Certus Quartz into charged Certus Quartz. Okay, so you take these to make the charger. How does one make a charger, though? Well, just... Do you have any eye? I... Do indeed. Just type in charger, it'll be... The one from Planet Just think it's literally two Fluix Crystals and five pieces of iron to make. It does require an energy source to run, so at the moment I just have it hooked up to a de uh, creative energy cell to create energy. Huh. So if you just take... Whoops. Okay, that just got fucked up. That's okay. I'll just, uh... I'll just, you know what? I'm gonna build one of these. I'll let you, uh, unfubar your foobar. There, yeah, because I accidentally hit a button and... It auto, yeah. Let's see, what was that that it needed again? Iron it needs five pieces of iron. That's not too bad. So literally, it's like one, two, three, four, five, and then my ah oh, balls. And boop, boop, and then I go boop, and I got my thing. Aha! Yep. 
And you just gotta attach it either to an ME cable or any energy cable from any other mods. You usually connect to it and give it power as well. If you just take a plain Surtis Quartz Crystal, right click with it on it, it will eventually charge. And you'll see it change color when it's done. Huh. Look, look closely, it goes from a darker blue to a lighter blue. Uh huh. It takes it takes a few seconds. Okay, well, we'll just stare at this. This isn't like that uh, tulip thing that uh, the gang tricked. Oh, yeah, there it goes. And then you just right click to pull it out. Huh. Alright. Now. It also adds this thing here, a quartz grindstone. Mm-hmm. Now, what you do in here is you take any of those crystals, the nether quartz, um, sardis quartz, or the fluix crystals. Yeah. It actually also works with any ore in the game as well. It will actually double the ore. So, I could throw in... You could throw in, like, iron ore and get two iron dust out of it, smelt it up, get two iron ingots. Oops. But but I put a service quartz crystal in there, and now you gotta right click on the crank to actually grind it. It's manual labor, but it gets you Certus quartz dust. Same thing just... with nether quartz and flukes, it'll get you the dust version of those. Which now, if you open up in this chest, you see That's... on the left hand side. Yeah, I see. You got service quartz, nether quartz, and flukes dust. Combine those with sand, you get seeds. Seeds. Yes, I'm just going to grab a few seeds here. Um, seeds. The, these, you just throw in water. They do not despawn over time. You so, just throw it in the water? Yep. They just they, like... And they just sit in the water till they're fully grown. They just then like... Pick them up. Now, they... that process can take a long time. There is a way to speed it up, though. Really? Do you have, like, fertilizer or something? No, it is these things here. They're expensive to make. Uh-huh. But having, like, four of these surrounding one spot of water can make the crystals grow in, like, 30 seconds. Wow. Pardon me, somebody just came by and the dog's going off. I'm gonna have to take a two-second pause. Sorry. All right. And sorry about that, guys. That was what we'll chalk up to being a blind moment. Um, and, uh... All right, so... What the hell is this? I took the water we had here, and we, uh... I surrounded it with water. I mean, the, the... crystal growth accelerator. Okay, because I was now, about to say, the... the little water thing we had and surrounded it in water... What? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Now, these require a lot of power to keep running. So... I have the creative energy cell over here. Hacks. Something... Hack. I'm sorry. Continue. But I also have something called a toggle bus, which responds to a redstone signal. Like if I hit the lever, you'll see it turn blue, and it'll turn the crystal growth accelerators on. You'll know they're on by the sparks that they're uh, making. We're not gonna like take electrostatic j damage, are we? No. Could I like but... just kill somebody by shoving them in here and watching them fry? No. Ah. But uh, now if we throw these seeds in here, and if you look, you'll see them actually growing at a decent rate. They're it bubbling. It still does take a while, but hm. it, it's like, I think, between 30 seconds and a minute now with like five of these. Wow. And when they're full grown, they become quartz crystals? They become, if we come back to the chest, we're just going to let that run. And if you look underneath the seeds, you'll see the pure version of the oh. Oh. So, those are a little bit better because you get two of those for one basically because oh. for every time you combine a quartz dust with a sand you get two seeds huh now also there are little tool variants see the wrench the wrenches for another quartz and these cutting knives I'll get into the cutting knives later okay um, oh, as you see, they're they're growing already. They got yep. a little bigger, and it'll just keep going to the 